Hello YouTube, this is the InfoFox Guy Gears channel and today we are making a tool review. From our previous tool review that we reviewed, this is a Craftman 24 piece, which I give it a good review. It was actually pretty impressive. Today now we have is a Husky uh, Ratchet and it says it's positioned to 144. So it's, it's what it looks like when you first buy it from the store. It hangs in display, which for my tools, I'm actually going to keep these in a display. When I use them, I pull them out, but when I'm not, I just put it back in the case and hang it in my pegboard. So that way, when I need to use it, I use it. I kind of like my tools being refurbished, but that, that's just me. I do not like seeing tools getting rusty and start looking very bad. So here I have the Husky. It has, it from what's advertised, it has a 2.5 arch swing and when you when it, you see these hanging in a shelf they have a demonstration of how you can do it so that's pretty cool <laughs> for, for being a display and uh, when I looked at it it was like yeah pretty good I was gonna either between buy this or the uh, gear um, gear wrench that's what it's literally called uh, hold on, I think I have the brand name right here in the box. Uh, I previously got something like that. The brand it was called is uh, Gear Rich. <laughs> okay, that's that's pretty good name. Okay, so back to what I'm saying. Um, these run about between thirty bucks to twenty dollars, depending where you get them from, depending who sells it, if it's commercially sold or is it just mom and pop shops sold and they need to make some profit out of it. But these come in the shelf, and I see a lot of people out in the uh, junkyard field or people in the tools that just look around and they have a husky one. And I kind of come in thinking, how do these feel when you buy one? So here we have it. So let's go ahead and remove it from the case. Set that aside. Now, the reason why I'm wearing gloves because I just want to see how tools feel like for this wrench. Whether it's long platform, I want to see how it feels like when I'm wearing my gloves, when I'm working on a car, like, hey, I need to do oil change, I need spark plug change, I need to check on, <clears throat> you know, everything that goes into it. I need to remove a radiator, all that. So when I even wear gloves. Now, I didn't wear my gloves when I did the uh, Craftman uh, tool review, which that was my mistake, but for now, we're doing one. So, from its appearance right now, very shiny, because that's what you get for buying a brand new. Uh, socket set mm. sorry I mean, I'm taking a drink um, so it, it has a good feel to it it's a long platform comparison to size between the Craftman I just bought versus this one it has a longer platform from side to side you can see from the measurement you can tell the difference this one's a Craftman And then this one is a uh, Husky. It's engraved in Husky, but I can barely see if it says Husky, even from with the camera and through my actual eye vision, I could barely see the carving that says Husky. That or it could be the sun, it could be the lighting. I have it light because my room is very dim. If I turned a May light on, it'd be too bright for the video. So I went ahead and invested in a mini lamp for this video so let me guys know in the comment below if you guys like the lighting or it's just terrible too much light everything reflective but again that's what you get from buying brand new tools and now i can realize my fingers are greasy and it has a fingerprint on this one okay sorry from the sat it has a lot of clicks so a lot of clicks are in the the ratchet Let's see how it actually interacts when I put a socket on there. So here I have a 14 millimeter thread, the average thread that you plug in to uh, unscrew a nut to do your oil change. Fits in real well, but do note with all these high-end tools or mid-tools, they're always going to have a, some kind of button on the side. Right here in the middle, you press it, slide it in there, and there you go. good feel so I have a dot I have a tight bolt in there a little nut just get in there boom it's out maybe I'm doing the wrong direction but there we go 
It's quick. I don't have to work too hard to flicker it. You do it with one finger. That's pretty good because when I twist, 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 rather than just do that, I just flicker it with my one finger and did it. The reason why I'm struggling now because I'm wearing gloves, but if I were to take off my hand and work on it, hey, uh, pretty good weather. It's not cold or I'm not going to do anything oil or dirty or greasy. <laughs> now my hands are greasy because I was doing a little cleaning and my hands got oil. Pretty good. Uh, let me just see if it kind of has that. <laughs> oh, not to be very discursive, but it kind of has that um, safety and fire kind of a feel when you're using an AR-15. Uh, very good tool right here. Now let's see if it. Let's see how it reacts when I actually put a breaker bar into it. Now you're thinking breaker bar. Oh, it doesn't have it. As long as it has this little little thread right here to put it in with your ratchet then it should work let's go ahead and attach, attach it on there Sorry. that's pretty good for <laughs> right but it has a little wobble plate but that's pretty much average a very good one would not wobble too crazy but that's what i like about this one After twisting it and twisting it, and see, it's pretty good. It's kind of addicting to twist these a lot. I heard that's what I've noticed when I every time I grab a ratchet, it's just it's addicting to do that all the time. The more teeth in there is, the more better sound you get from a from a ratchet. <laughs> In conclusive, this thing is pretty good, so in my rating scale, I give it this tool review, I'll give it a um, 9.5. It's pretty good. It could be a little more better, but for the for the price of it, it's pretty good for 30 dogs. Can't go wrong with it. It probably does a better job than than maybe 60% of the tools that are being sold by Harbor Freight. But from my impression from this Husky um, ratchet, it's probably worth buying it, but in my other hand, in my suggestion, for like $28, you can buy a Craftsman um, 24P tool piece set. But if you're looking for a ratchet, specifically a ratchet, ratchet, and you know, you don't want any more sockets or anything like that, I, yeah, this would be the good recommendation to buy. Not the top of the list to buy for when you're in an economic crisis and you need a good tool to get the job done. Or if it's just working on a couple metal sheets and it comes with a hex screw. Or if you're working on cars and they have a lot. Well, this is more targeted toward cars because, you know, it's you can find these in Home Depot or uh, Lowe's. I don't know. But actually, I don't think in Harbor Freights. I've been going in and out that store and looking at everything. And I'm pretty sure there's not a Husky brand in there. If there is, I'll be, I'll be surprised. There is. These are like the most affordable tools. The other one, the Hus the Harbor Freights ones, they're more cheaper than they are, but the quality of it is just very anonymous. It's very mysterious. I don't know if it would be better than the actual brand or is it just a fail. For our next review, we might be revealing the Craftman Torque Bar, which for that I'll try to attempt to see if we can actually... Um, do it on the actual tire just to show if it's good or not so we'll go outside and actually work on a tire like we'll remove a nut and we'll put it back on there um this concludes our video i hope you guys find this um husky tool review be more helpful uh if you have any suggestions let me know on the video quality let me know and i won't even if you say it very rudely i'll just take it as advice and ignore the negativity and I hope you guys very much help to hope to find this video very helpful. Try to put it back on a little case. And I'll see you guys in the next video.